All right, so this is an example of steganography right here using a tool called Snow. If you've never seen this before, uh, basically what I did is I, I put Snow in the C directory of my computer here. And in order for us to try to obfuscate maybe a secret message, so if we're trying to, to have some sort of concealment with steganography, um, what we can do is we can use a tool like this. Again, if we both have snow, then we can figure it out. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. So if I, here I have it in my, my root directory of my C drive. So if I bring this up here and let's just say Ben is awesome. And, you know, I have over here, you know, I'm glad I'm, I, I amuse you. I have a snow.doc right here. See that? And I want to tr create this one called snowtransform.doc. Ben is awesome. How about instead of that, we say something maybe a little bit more meaningful. Attack at dawn. Okay. So what's the significance of that? Well, you can see that this I just created a new Word document. And to the naked eye, it's still five kilobytes. Right? So it's not significantly different at all. But using this tool, I can obfuscate the secret message. So if I come back here and I put in my secret message here saying that to my output file I'm giving it the secret password hello world for this then we'll see what comes up but before we do that let's just look at these right here so check it out here and here 639 words, 639 words, page one of three. You guys notice anything different? Nothing. Nothing's different. Except inside of there, we hit a secret message. So in order to receive that secret message, I have to pass it my password of hello world. And then what I should expect here is the secret message to come back to me, but only because I know that this that we use snow to to use this form of steganography, right? So let's just see if it worked. There we go. So how would you be able to detect something like that going on? Uh, that's a great question. Great question. They should be right. So are you going to run the hash, run each file through a hash before we open it, though? Maybe. Eh? So that's in the snow folder. Okay, so this has got that as the hash of the regular snow.doc. And this is the hash. And based off of our theorem before, they better be different, right? Because they are different. But to the naked eye, you wouldn't see that, you know? And oftentimes, this is what attackers do to try to circumvent any type of uh, signature-based model that you may have using steganography. So that's the point. There are a lot of blacklists 